Thank you so much, Joe and Emma. And today's main weather is brought to you by Crosby Sport Shop. They have a large supply of ammo in stock, custom Damascus knives, fishing supplies of all kinds, concealed weapons classes, and a full line of Dragonfly UV tackle, plus the latest ultraviolet tackle call today. So pretty foggy start to the day. Reminds me more of Halloween with those uh, pretty really interesting vibes outside. Really barely any visibility. Lots of fog, especially by the coast. Check out Bar Harbor really near zero visibility. So be careful. Fog is really dense by Rockland, by Augusta, by Portland. Lot of locations has some really dense fog besides Bangor. Check out Bangor coming in close to 10 mile visibility. Same thing in Waterville. That doesn't mean there's no fog anywhere around town. There is some patchy fog. So if you're out and about, be careful, leave extra early because this fog is pretty dense. And because of that, we do have some dense fog advisories in effect until 10 a.m. today. And by the coast, small craft advisories in effect until 8 p.m. tomorrow. So if you're out and about, really be careful as the waves will be a little bit on the higher end. We do have some good, good amount of cloud cover across the whole state today. No precipitation at the moment, but all of that is going to be changing. Uh, the rain indicated here in the green, more in upstate New York at the moment, but all of it will continue to move up the eastern seaboard and it will finally make it into Maine a little bit later today and then continue into the overnight hours before finally moving out by tomorrow. It is not going to be a big rain event, a soaker at that. It is going to be a little bit more on the lighter end, but still something to pay attention to and maybe ruin a couple of plans or two. Winds, not a big issue at the moment. A lot of locations have only a three mile visibility at most, but later on, especially by the morning hours tomorrow and then into the overnight hours it, tomorrow really gets breezy by around 3 p.m. We might have wind gusts close to 30 miles per hour, so get ready. It will be windy. Temperatures, though, will be above average the next couple of days. And then Thursday and Friday, we really cool off into the 60s, so bring out those long sleeve shirts. It will cool down in two days, but today, Temperatures will be hovering close to 75 degrees. Like I mentioned, those afternoon rain showers will be moving in. And our extended forecast outlook does show lots of clear weather by Wednesday and a cool down by Thursday and Friday.